Five and a half pounds. I'm gonna step off the lamb now. That's one small step for man. I'm gonna step off the lamb now. Thanks a lot. Welcome to the Dobsonian Power Night Sessions. Tonight we have a special night again. We will do it again with the King. The King. The king. We will watch with this beautiful telescope, which is outside already, ready to go. The moon transit on Jupiter. The moon is Hayo and it will be starting in a moment. And we will have about around two hours of transit with the shadow of the moon over Jupiter planet. It's so beautiful. Jupiter is super bright. It's the closest approach to Earth, or it was the opposition and closest approach uh, a few days ago. So it's still very, very bright. It's a great opportunity for you to grab your telescopes and watch Jupiter preferably with a filter because it's super bright it's uh, it's amazing it's amazing it looks like a, a huge star outside tonight we have a, a night a decent night it's not uh, very cloudy some few thin clouds but nothing special and we may have a surprise tonight again a surprise again the man on the mountain the man on the mountain will join us if the weather allows I'm waiting, he will send a bird, because he talks with the, the birds and everything, it's a legend, it's a legend in Canary Islands, there's a legend of the man that nobody knows, villagers don't know know about, the, uh, about him, but can't see him, because it's like an invisible man. With his telescope, 
in a month time. We don't know yet. I'm waiting for his uh, message to tell me if the weather uh, clear, the, the sky is clear there. It was not uh, a while ago, but we will see. It will be a, a challenging for both. So we will try. The challenge is this one. Me and him, if he, he can, it's to point to Jupiter and try to capture the transit of Io. Mm, it's not a, a hard thing to do, but uh, but it is it is it has it has some tricks. Also in this live stream, remember. Do you ever open Stellarium and notice that the great red spot of Jupiter is in your telescope, in your image, but in Stellarium it's way off? You can't see it. <clears throat> Don't worry because I will show you how to fix that. I discovered it and I can tell you that it's very easy. With only two clicks you fix that. I will show you in a while. I discovered it is very very easy to to fix. So remember the the other live stream that the um, Stellarium is never is never it's always off the the great red spot and likely in your Stellarium is the same and it's so easy to fix so easy. I discovered right after, uh, before the stream. And of course all of this with you tonight. It's, uh, it's Monday night, it's a horrible day of the week usually because we are all tired, everything after a, a great weekend, I hope and, but don't worry because I'm here with you and we have great company Dobsonian Power Hello Pedro Geisler Astrothi, Brian Fowler, Pedro, Bob Love Let's go, let's do it, let's do it. Let me open the camera first. This will be amazing. Now, the transit of the moons are always there. The transit are always there, but... Or the transit is always there, but the thing is... to For us to have an opportunity that match the transit match with our with our time the time that we are with the telescopes there will be more transit but at uh, different hours too late in the night here so right now it's the best opportunity that's why i decided to do this monday i will do soon i'm opening the camera the outside camera i will do soon probably this week the members know the message I sent. So it will likely during this week. I don't know. I'm waiting for my sponsor also. So. We'll see. We'll see. Great time now. Great time. Now the telescope. It's a, a bit. Um, off due in the air. So I decided to cover it. With this simple blanket which is awesome as it is uh, almost no wind i also added the um, the light shield because it uh, not only it's it's better because of the light of course the light pollution but also if no wind it will delay the dew formation on the secondary mirror which is more or less here now everything is connected i noticed the uh, the dew when i went outside and I put the end over the tail rod and immediately all wet so I decided to do like this it's a very inexpensive and good protection for your dog while it's acclimating now let me send a message to the mountain man to see if everything all right and send him the link to enter the live stream. Okay. Anaximandros. Link. 
Hopefully. He can join us later. Anyway, he said to me that uh, he will join, if the weather allows, he will join a little um, later in the stream. So, at least after, until half past 10, we will not have it. Now, the transit will start at 22.22. So, it's uh, here it's 22.11 at night. So in about 10 minutes, we'll start the transit. But as you know, when the transit starts, it's not the shadow in Jupiter. It's not immediate. It will take a few minutes. So at 22.27, five minutes after the transit start, it will cast the shadow on Jupiter and it will run from Jupiter until half past midnight. So two hours more or less of uh, of transit we don't have any more the great red spot because it passed already if i started the stream earlier we could spot them the red spot and uh, but uh, i decided to to do pri to pri prioritize the what we have tonight the challenge is the io moon a galilea moon of jupiter transit now, chart cap. It's an equatorial platform that is tracking the dob, or that will track the dob. So we don't need any electronics. I just need to focus. Also, we might uh, try. I am with a 2x Barlow, a conservative approach, 2x Barlow to to see what happens so we might try also the new feature there was a glitch robin from sharp cap i think it it he fixed the that glitch we'll see if that works usually my plate solver usually works with a 2x barlow so we will see because the night it's it's so so it's more or less decent Let's stretch this because I will need to point to a star and connect a platform. It's just that what I'm going to do right now. You see a donut here. So we need to focus this beautiful telescope that is outside the king. The king. The king. Hello Mike Steiner, welcome to this channel. Very well, very well. We are here to help you and to pass with you a good time with the telescope. First, first, I have to take this blanket off, of course. It's super dry. Excellent.
Now connect the platform. And point to a bright star. Or even to Jupiter, right? Yes, to Jupiter. We will do the star hopping. Star hopping. Let's see if it's there. Yes, it is. Great. Now, and stretch this and lower the exposure. Lower the exposure and again. Now. Focus the telescope. As usual, I will use this small remote to do the focuser, to do the focusing. It's within extension because as I moved the primary mirror, you see here already the moon, Hayo, it's here. Can, can you spot it here? It's starting, almost starting in four minutes. We'll start the transit. But now we will focus this. I will use the moons, the three moons here, to get cl um, close to the, the best focus. I think it is. And now I think it is focused already. And now I lower the exposure. Very low because it's super bright. Look how bright is Jupiter. Look, we still have the, the red spot. This is a, a beautiful image. Look, the great red spot here. And the moon high over here starting the transit. Beautiful. You see? Great red spot still there. Now let's adjust again the focus. I didn't want to place the Forex Barlow because of the thing, of the transparency. Tonight it's not very transparent and yeah, it was focused. It was focused. I think we can. Change this from row 16 to row 8. Atmospheric dispersion creates this bluish glow here. And <clears throat> we can change from PNG to AV files. Beautiful. And we will do a, right away a, a small capture. Use the region of interest. Now he has a selection. Let's try the selection. We click here, select Roy. Let's see if it works. You see the square here. And we do like this. And capture. Start capture. Jupiter. Let's see if it works. Uh, selection hold on hold on because it's the first time apply I have to apply here again 
click and now bam bam capture start capture jupiter start zoom for you to see at the right control the roy for the planet keep in the field of view i will record three minutes of jupiter with io moon right here right here it's amazing and the other one is here but it will likely be out so this is the first time i use this new feature of sharp cap which is actually amazing it works very well for planets because you don't have to be lowering the region of interest and adjusting the planet in the in the display then lowering again you just select the region i could change the square i could change the square i could make it uh, smaller but i decided not to do it so it's easier for me in a live stream notice that uh, most uh, part of the time i i change my workflow or i try to adapt my workflow to the live stream because of you now i re i just received a message from the mountain man mountain man i can't i can't read the message right now i'm capturing jupiter we are with one and a half minute just a bit more and i will check your message to see if it's positive or not yeah the other moon will not be for sure at the right it's moving a bit yes i'm using the arrow keys another great trick This is working at uh, 123 frames per second, once more demonstrating that it's uh, a myth about uh, the use of the 294 camera for planetary imaging. Look, the fact that uh, brands sell one or another camera designated for planetary imaging and the others for deep sky objects, that doesn't mean that some of the others can work very well the 294 it's a camera that it's in the middle range so it's not it's a, a wide field of view but it's not uh, excessive and it's in the middle between the the pure planetary cameras and the others the, those all with large sensors 2600 uh, 1400 and three minutes stop stop now let's see how we reset the roy i think we have to yes we have to go here to the drop down menu and move it up to the full frame it's tracking very well and you see with this camera you can see the moons perfectly it's very nice very nice very nice indeed so let me check the message from the man on the mountain oh it's here hello samir is that good to to be there in the chat but not here let me check no way no way right now okay samir don't worry if you have the opportunity we will be here we will be here we are watching the transit of this moon this galilea moon io over jupiter it will do like this let's check stellarium and while we are watching this i will explain to you how easy it is to fix stellarium with two clicks to match exactly where the great red spot is but first let me tell you something first you go to my web page because you need to know where is the great red spot at what time will be in your location you go to dobsonandpower.com this show is sponsored by astroart finland your astronomical partner you go to dobsonandpower.com
and here you have free resources you click on this tab and everything that is here i use and it's free so it's compacted in a keep it simple style for any beginner or anyone that needs resources to have what you need and here you have at the bottom you have two important links one is here to know when jupiter great red spot is visible in your location you click here is the connection it's the connection okay you click here and this is sky and telescope it's amazing an amazing sight and you go here and you just click here initialize to today and it will retrieve here it will place here the time of the transit this time refers to when the great red spot is centered so it's in the middle of the planet and right now we have here 6 of november at 21 43 so it passed already universal universal time so it passed already it started already at this hour because now we are at 22 27 right now so we still capture the great red spot we have time this was the center hmm? and after coming here and you check that okay 21 43 it will be a good time for me tonight to watch jupiter the weather is clear i will place my telescope and prepare my capture of jupiter with a great red spot in the display then you close this page and you come here if you want to capture moon's transit it's another website from sky and telescope you click here and it will give you for today where if any transit when it's uh, that when the transit of the moon or moons will be this precise day so tonight it will it's uh, 22 22 which we are already it's io begins transit of jupiter you can see here the different moons callisto europa ganymede and here already in transit it's hold on see europa callisto c from callisto g from ganymedes and here on jupiter already io the moon that we have the challenge tonight okay passing here it will pass through jupiter between jupiter and us so now let's go to stellarium for you to know you can see the great red spot it's here and i will open stellarium the moon is here okay. and in a moment we will start watching the shadow of the moon okay solarium okay so you come to solarium first let me show you you see the great red spot here it's still not very very um, highly accurate but it's uh, fair enough for us to to have the the transit actually you see i owe it's fine the only problem is with a great red spot you will not see problems with the moon transit but with the exact match of this image and the image that we have you can see that it's very very not millimetrically but very close the, this is the the great red spot here so in solarium is a bit way off to the right but that's enough it's for sure it's much better than what you have by default so to fix that you go to solarium you will check that it's wrong 
But if uh, even that you do this, and if it's not wrong, no problem. So you go to Solarium. Here at the left, you have this menu. You click here on Sky and Viewing Options window. You can click on F4 to open this window too. You click here and it will open this window. View. Sky SSO. This is what we want. SSO. You come to this tab and you check this at the right. Use custom settings of GRS, which means great red spot. You click here, you check this checkbox and then you click on GRS details. And here it will open another small box, window box. And here Ah, here you click on okay and in this box you click on date and time UTC universal time you click on this arrow the drop down menu okay and you will move mine was on 2008 so I just moved this calendar to today basically and you click on today you see six November 6 you click on today and that's it you close and then you will have this like I have matching the image on the screen amazing trick eh? I discovered it right before the live stream it was amazing because I was here trying to to figure it out it's not your location everything is fine it's only that the um, the software is using data from the past and that will um, distort uh, the, the, uh, the rotation of the planet because you know that Jupiter does every 13 uh, months we have a, a closest approach of Jupiter and um, it, it rotates in elliptical orbit as we rotate and so every more or less 13 months we have um, Jupiter so almost every year except la next year I think it's 2026 20, 2025 it will move to 2026 we will have two something like that one in January another one in December something like that so it's roughly 13 this is beautiful we can see the moon already here I will record another video I will record another video. This is not a great night. This is not a great night for capturing, but it's what we have. So we will do the same trick. Let me see if I can... No, I can't do more focus than this. The moon is focused. Yeah. So we will zoom out. We still have real estate here for the platform and I will use again. Now I will try to do it um, a smaller, even smaller region of interest. Select Roy. So I will move to over the, the planet and I will adjust to a very, very tiny square. See, I don't want too much because it will go out of the field of view. And now apply Rai and capture, start capture and bam. And then I will zoom and I will make sure at the right that this will be in the field of view because we want to capture the moon. Then we will do another one because this shadow now is very, very close to the moon. We see here the moon and right at the left it's the shadow but later let me control this later we will see a larger separation of the moon from the shadow of course
I think it's only... Marco, I think it's only the, the date. But look, don't complicate. Man, you have the solution. You have the solution. Don't complicate. Keep it simple. You go there, you change for the, the date today. And to, in, in a year, you change again. And that's it. You probably will not need. So... This will be an amazing image because it has the great red spot at the right and the moon at the left. That's why I wanted to... Now we have a, a frame rate for you to know with a 294 camera. A great camera for Christmas or for Black Friday. It's 145 frames per second. So you can see the maximum frame rate of the, for instance, the 224 that I have, it's 150. I usually have a bit of trouble with um, the USB during my live streams. Everything that has USB. I forgot to, to do something, but I will do the next time. Okay, 250, it's enough. Stop capture. And we have another one. And now zoom out. And breathe a, a bit. Breathe a bit. Take some water. I forgot to clean the hot pixels here at the right. Instead of using the darks. This should work better. Yes, it works better. I was having hot pixels, but it's done. Star guy is in the house. Hello, Ibiosis. Catholic. The transit here will be now, it started now, and it will be during two hours. We start to have the... we're starting to have the shadow much more... ...visible here. Hello, Amy. Hello, Victor. And Mike. Congratulations, Tall Paul, for watching Jupiter so beautiful as you watch it. Thank you, Star Guy. It's even better with an eyepiece. <laughs> but it's it's decent tonight. We start seeing the shadow here, you see? shadow the moon is right here it's uh, with a white tint and the shadow at the left it's like um, it's really at near the like they were together and uh, while the moon will pass the shadow will move apart from the moon. Last year I captured 
some well every year I capture some transits secret purchase <laughs> Andrew congratulations for your new virtuoso telescope it's a great telescope guys guys I'm telling you if you want to give a gift you know that I I just everything that I tell is I truly believe otherwise I pff, I just forget or say that I don't want it's a great gift the virtuoso it's a great gift for any age a child or an adult will be very pleased with a virtuoso telescope it's easy to use you don't need to start using it with a go-to you can use it manually you can try the go-to if you struggle at the first times it's normal you release the clutches and you move the telescope and the go-to will still be working fine it comes with two eyepieces, very decent eyepieces to start, especially the two 25 millimeters. 500 bucks. It's a great, great. Don't don't buy those 200 bucks. I see now that uh, they are more expensive. 200 bucks, uh, cheap refractors from Amazon. Buy this one. Buy this one. You have the links at opsonianpower.com. Get free resources and links to the gear I use at dobsonianpower.com You have everything at dobsonianpower.com <laughs> 12-inch Dobsonian 6.5mm, no Barlow The moon is here. Oops. Here. I'm reading the chat. Yeah, the 6 inch is ready to go it's very fast that's why the last live stream I wanted to do with a 6 inch because the weather was w worse than today than tonight and it's very fast to and you see at the end I bring it back here and it's very very fast to mount everything and if you use it as I use with everything already prepared the when I want a focal reducer when I want a Barlow if you do the upgrade that I I showed in a video did you watch that video with a upgrade a focuser upgrade if you will have or have a virtuoso it's a must a must watch I'm super happy with this With this focuser. See? It's with um, the collimation cap. Which comes with a telescope. Look. And buy wherever you want. Uh, whenever, uh, Wherever you want. Because I'm telling you this. I know I have affiliate links in dobsonandpower.com 
and I appreciate that you use. Thank you for the people that uh, use those links. I know many of you or most of you use and it helps the channel without any effort. You pay the same. You don't pay more for that. But even that you, if you see cheaper in, in another place, you buy another place. The important thing is to have a, to get a good deal. Usually Astro Art Finland, my sponsor has good deals. And now that we will have Black Friday and so on, usually you have uh, now you will have good deals. And it's in the situation that you have the same price. I prefer to buy to a company with a face, with soul and uh, people that uh, if I have a problem I can have a, a get assistant, assistance right away. They have the Discord, the AstroArt Finland. By the way, join our Discord because it's free. And um, we still help, we help each other there. If you have any doubt, you will feel comfortable with us. It's a very healthy and positive community. Join us on Discord, it's free and you can keep in touch with the Dobsonian Power community. Thank you, Anastasius, for your super chat. Super chat. Anastasius is a Greek name, no? Greek, it, you, you are from Greece. Love to Greece. For sure, you are from Greece. Anastasius is Greek. I know Anastasius from Greek. From Greece. Love for, for Greece. Thank you very much also to to support this channel. It's very important for for me to to have your help. Actually, now I I'm having this sustainable. I spend a lot. I look. I have a, a own dedicated internet for me for the stream, just for the stream. Right now, all of my house it's connected to another uh, service provider, and I rent uh, a subscription to a service provider only for this live stream for you and I have subscription of many things of the platform that I use I will check now on Black Friday if I have a, a good deal to have even more quality I will spend more but it doesn't matter I have the videos to to compensate that also and you are helping me uh, recently you are helping me a lot so it's for me it's it's fine and I can keep the ball rolling and I will and I have things prepared for very nice things not only for members members are special of course but also for you we will still be here every night we can at least once a week now probably on the weekend the weather is more or less. I, fortunately, I live in a, a place that has nice weather. You are watching the stream with delay, Sami. <laughs> it's the mountain. It takes time to get there. And remember, members, members, you can ask anything. Use the member mm, community posts that I post there, just for members. You, I read everything, especially the members, but even no members, I read everything in my channel. I read everything. While I can, I read an answer to everything that it's to answer. And I follow everything, I read everything or almost on Discord also. And if you have any problem or something, just tell me in the members forum in the members tab because we are here to help you oh congratulations Excellent choice. It is. It was an underestimated telescope. Underestimated. Uh, 
of course every telescope has some issue every every telescope that you have to deal with this one has the focuser but now you have a great solution this focuser that i use now i'm super happy with it i'm super 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 happy with it and now i did this look one thing one idea for you actually i have a, a hack that i used to use but now this is a, an improved one in my in my opinion i will show you just in in a few seconds you see this here here this is a, a clamp some uh, those clamps to um, that you screw to tight uh, and you use in the garden or uh, water tubes or something like that to to fix the tubes i place here and here you know why this why i have this this one here is for the barlow when i use a barlow i just have to move the sliders and they bump there and i tight i don't have to be moving the sliders because i know already the position then i rotate just fine tune the focus and that's it and the other one here if i move the sliders down they will stop here in the other one it's the one that i use for the focal reducer it's the the two ways that i use this telescope in the middle will be without any stop will be for you to use without any focal reducer or barlow which is a situation that i don't use i also use one or another and also for visual or visual you can use in the middle will be you just adjust and rotate visually simpler because you are there near the telescope so and this can be improved i should uh, i i bought these ones to use with a screw drive but uh, i think i remember that i have something like this at home that uh, you can do it you can tie it with the ends it has some kind of butterfly or something that will be even easier if you have to adjust so it's uh, another tip for you to this will simplify a lot this will simplify a lot the workflow you place the, the virtuoso you connect and to focus you already will be on focus or near focus and then just fine tune it's very very nice I do everything I can to um, to simplify everything. To simplify every process with the telescopes. And I strongly recommend you to take that approach, that um, way of uh, do things every every day with your telescopes, no matter the telescope and no matter the the um, branch of the hobby that you are in if you are on astrophotography or eaa or cameras or visual it doesn't matter if you apply this way of life this is a way of life to simplify to optimize things it, it has a, a a very grateful uh, result because think with me those those nights that you are um, a bit more tired but you go outside and oh man this is amazing the sky is clear tonight it looks like it has a good seeing and there are objects beautiful objects that i want to see but you are very tired if you think that you have this ah but i have to do this and this and this and this oh i don't have to oh no i i will not go it's likely that you will not go at least on so sometimes but if you simplify the process and have it very simply simpler simple and have the process very simple you know that that will it's like a, a positive input in your brain that will not uh, be an obstacle anymore you will just think okay i have the clear skies so i place a virtuoso and bam when i was sick the last time i was well sick with a with a flu or something I just I wanted oh but the sky is great but I'm with the sore throat and dwarf dwarf outside it's just the place I was like this outside place the dwarf come in and in a in a bed <laughs> um, playing with a, like a with a toy we are like like children with telescopes 
And this is what the channel is the um, is for. Who the channel is for? This channel is f mainly for beginners and younger people. That I have loads of younger people here. It's incredible, but it's true. But also for young adults like you, young adults like you and me, young older people. Better saying. Young, older people like you and me. Because I am 52, but when I grab my Dobsonian and place it outside, and um, especially if I'm here with you in the live streams, you see my excitement. It's all <laughs> from my my childhood, my childish, I don't know, soul. You can have 80 years old or 85 and be like a child inside when you watch the sky. Preserve that. Cultivate that and preserve that. And now the shadow is here, you see? I think I will do another... Let me check the platform if it's... No, it's at the middle. The platform takes more or less one hour to go to the end but I don't like at the end it usually with a 12 inch it uh, sometimes it it uh, have more friction or something I don't know it works better until not until the end well sometimes it works depends on the position of the telescope if it's well balanced it works flawless until the end the platform Yes, you, you always, Gianni. Gianni. Even after focuser upgrade, do I need to adjust the sliders to get focus on planetary camera? Yes, because it depends on what you use. If you use the telescope, always without uh, with a camera without anything you don't use eyepieces you don't use barlows you don't use focal reducers you don't use nothing you can even light the camera there and just place the telescope and it's just fine tune you all even like that you probably you have to fine tune because the heat or the temperature variations will change the focus even during the night tonight if if so, I will have to readjust. We'll see. But in addition to that, if you use a Barlow, for instance, what happens? You have the camera without a Barlow and you have it focused at, at, at that position every night. But one night you buy a Barlow, you decide to buy a Barlow, no matter the Barlow, 2x, 3x, 4x, 5x, doesn't matter. Any Barlow that you place in your telescope or focal extender, it's the same, will move your focal plane outwards so you will have to catch the the focus outwards you see so what you like i did tonight i had to do that and i had to insert an extension i have the the telescope with an extension there i forgot to close the the camera i have an extension here Well, but we have the light shield, it will not capture the infrared of the camera. I have an extension here inside the focuser, but if tomorrow I want to use this with a focal reducer, it's the opposite. The focus plane will get inwards. I will take off the extension and move the focus inwards. So you do that with a Virtuoso with the sliders if you know you have three options use a barlow use nothing or use a focal reducer the focal reducer and the barlow will be at the extremes so if you can you use one night you f you move the sliders you focus with a focal reducer and bam you mark there or you use the clamps then you use a barlow and you move the sliders out and you focus the telescope and bam, you use the, the clamps again with a focuser at the middle. So you have travel 
the next time you should have travel. When the focus area is more or less at the middle, you lock it. Um, you place the clamps. And then everything will be much, much faster and much, much easier. Extremely faster and extremely easier. Ask Geisler there. Geisler knows very well that. What is important is your mental age. Yes, of course. And it's not only... It's to have that, um, that feeling inside. That I think I have. And I try to... Um, to share that uh, happiness with you. Thank you, Aviosis. Thank you, Anastasios Fertish for your super chat. Super chat. Super chat. The way I can make the focuser work for now. If it was, I suppose. Is 40 millimeters adapter. Then T2 male to 42 M42 male adapter. Then the 1731 focuser then m42 to one and a quarter will work this way let me think again so first the 40 millimeter adapter yes the base okay at base perfect then the male to m42 male adapter okay then Actually, it's M42. It's technically it's T2, I think. The pitch is different, but the pitch there, I don't know why they they every bar, oh, many brands place M42 and it's it's 0 0.75 the pitch. So that's uh, the reference I, ha I have and uh, I use when I'm buying something because it will be a mess because some brands change or they don't know or they change and they say M42 and, and 0 0.75 and another one will say T2 and it's 0 0.75 it's the same pitch so it's kind of when you buy clothes and uh, you only look for the um, the size but you don't uh, look for the, the the measures you should always look for the measures because the same size with different brands will be sometimes will change the the height or the, the sleeves or something you know it's the same approach so the 40 millimeters then the male to male okay no I have the 40 millimeters I will show you this is the 40 millimeters first if yours if it is m42 here it will insert you will insert then the focuser the 1731 focuser right on that uh, big 40 millimeters okay then the ring m42 m42 or whatever you want 0 0.75 male male with that um, grip uh, kind of teeth that it has here 
and then if you want to use the one and a quarter stuff you use this that I have also there in the website this, this one is very it's inexpensive and it's amazing because it has a, the measures you see here it's only the 40 millimeters the focuser the helicoidal and then at the top the M42 to M42 male male M42 T2 and then I use this this is very small you, you see that the clamps are right there it's very small but it needs an adapter because this is M42 so I have here a ring adapter you see I have here an adapter ring to to fit M48 Actually, this is not M42, M4, uh, T2, it's M42, the, the one at the top, it's M42, to M48, you want M48, because M48 will allow you to insert the camera here with the filters, with anything. You want the top M42, so buy the right one, it's not M42, T2, not M42, M42, and not T2, T2. It's M42 male to M48 male to fit here and to fit the camera. Not the camera without anything, but the camera with a filter. You will want to use a filter. What you have, M42 to M42, will allow you to fit the camera directly without anything else. But if you want to use a filter, you can't. Because you have everything M42. And the filters that you use are M48. Well, you have a solution. You can use uh, the ring that comes with some cameras like the 294. The small ring. I will do that. A small ring with a one and a quarter adapter inside. If you don't want to buy anything else it's something like this it's not this one let me it's something like this you see it comes with a 294 here m42 so you screw to the camera inside and then you have here one and a quarter you can place a filter here a one and a quarter filter that's a solution That, uh, that is a solution if you don't want to, if you just want to use one and a quarter filters. And it's a good solution. The 70 31 millimeters focuser will not screw into the 40 millimeters adapter. One side is M42. And the other is M42 one. That's why I had to use the M42. Ah! Yes, you can use. Well, I tell you, mine, the one that I have the link, I I bought it and um, I checked the description and everything is 0 0.75. If you have to force something, well... I didn't say nothing, but if you have to force something, remember that you will not take that out uh, ever again. So if you are worried because of the pitch that uh, it will damage the pitch, the thread itself, who cares? Because it will be there forever. You will not take it off. The caps.
the caps it's the, the same as the others you can i don't like to use that way but some people they i think it's an old uh, thing that people did in the past but well they still do but to me it's not worth it you can take out the cap it's one cap that uh, moves out and you can use it one four to do a filter for sun that's the best one mm. the best choice it's to you place a solar film there or a cap you make a cap with a solar film some people sell those kind of caps or 3d print them and you can use as a, a solar filter is a mask because it's it's smaller i prefer to use it all and you can also use uh, to you to watch the moon and take cut the brightness of the moon you you know that the moon is very bright usually it hurts some some people eyes and they they take off the the small cap and uh, you basically are using a, a small aperture which i think it's not worth it because you you have the, this aperture six inches to use the six inch it's not to use just a small aperture that that tiny pff, whatever buy a, a moon filter if you need like i have a polarizing filter you have the links on on dobsonimpower.com is super inexpensive it's less than 20 bucks i think and it's polarizing you can adjust so it means that you can use with a full moon then if the the moon it's a quarter you just adjust it to to cut less and you can use it now for jupiter some people use now for jupiter because it hurts their eyes i like to use i i adapt my eyes to the light and then i i like to use uh as easy on jupiter but on the moon i like to use the, the polarizing filter that's what the cap is for it's kind of a mask i don't like the the aperture is the aperture i buy the six inch it's to use the six inch it's not to to cut you see the the moon now but i will have to to do the the star hoping again because the platform now it's almost at the middle and the red spot is gone. I know that uh, we have uh, more objects and we have time. The objects will still there for us. The weather is not very bad, uh, the forecast. So we will do more different objects. But this is a special... The transit is always a special event. Especially with Jupiter so bright as it is right now and height in the sky. Super height. It's the right moment. Before and after opposition or during opposition. It's super bright. It's very nice to watch it. And uh, of course I have a filter. I'm using a filter. To cut a bit of that brightness. And it works well. And the filter I'm using it's this one. It's amazing this filter. The Bader New Demil. Moon and Sky Glow filter. Notice some people use it visually i tried it visually and i didn't like on the planets i didn't like because it introduced those uh, atmospheric um, dispersion aberrations that uh, bluish and, and red tint around the planet i don't know if uh, it was bad luck but i didn't like it so i prefer to use it without filters visually i have visual i have four filters there and i, I don't uh, rare, rarely use visual filters only for cameras i always use for cameras and it's moving away jupiter you see it's almost i will have to readjust hold on i will have to readjust this look it's down here i will move it up i'll move it up hold on and reset the platform so basically i will do the star hopping start hoping hoping
スパタン<笑><笑> I love to start hope Do we need to focus? No No, the moon I think we have something clouds Let me check At the end with the Virtuoso we want to have less weight as possible so the less adapters you can use the better. Well thin clouds only. Let me see... Okay. Samir, aren't you better now? Should be better now. Here, look. Watch the sky, Samir. Join us. Now we will record another one. I think now it's even better. You see, the, the moon is here and the shadow is here, you see? I think the moon is there, yes. Let me check in Stellarium. Make sure if I'm telling it right. No, it's good. Yeah. Ayo. No, the moon is right near the shadow. It's further apart, of course. This is... Here. What we were watching is Ganymed. Then Callisto, Europa, and here is Ayo. It's like this in the picture. We can't see it, but we will see after processing. We can see the shadow clearly because it's it's a shadow. You see now now how, how fine it is. It's really at the center. So it's a good moment to record a video. I think I can't do more with the focuser. It's what we have, but I will check. No, this is the best I can do. It's shaking a bit. It's shaking too much. I think it's windy now. By the way, we are streaming from here. Planet Earth, continent, Europe, country, Portugal, region, Algarve, 37 latitude, Bortal 5. As I resetted the platform, I wait a bit for this to stabilize the movement. I think it's better now and we'll do the same trick again remember the trick guys you see click here it's row 8 AV files and we click on select Roy it's with the same size that I used the last time it's nice if it uh, remembers capture start capture and bam and now go to the Roy I ah, know apply Roy Pff, I forgot stop capture apply Roy first okay 
start capture start and now go to the Roy I forgot I have to apply Roy we select Roy region of interest and then apply Roy we have to click otherwise it will capture without uh, applying the Roy of course now we can see clearly the the shadow it will be a nice a nice one Yeah, I heard about the lunar occultation of Venus, star guy, but I think it's in the morning, no? I'll check in a moment. Let me record this. What I'm doing is controlling... Let me zoom. This is what you can do with any telescope. To with sharp cap you control the right. Now it's shaking a lot. It's probably the wind. It's, it's not it's like um, vibration. Oh. Bad frames now. It's moving a lot. We really, really need good seeing to have a, a nice, a nice picture or a nice capture of, of these planets. Thanks, Geisler. Yes, the Saturn will lose the rings, but not, <laughs> but not, um, for a very long time it's just in 2025 but uh, because it will have the ring aligned 2 minutes and 30 150 frames per second I will do a bit more oh it's shaking a lot now Okay, I'll stop. It's moving a lot. Now we will return to... Thanks, Quasar. So it's like you have a paper and the rings will be like this. That's why we'll be invisible but then after 2025 they will move to the other position so right now we can see it like this i think imagine it's like this they will be like this and then they will do like this so we will see the other side of the rings after that It will be, either ways, it will be interesting to capture because it's a, um, a different situation for, for the planet. It will be like a line, probably. I never capture like this. You see, it will be interesting to capture. You will want to, to capture and see what happens. There's always a positive side of it. It's a shame we can't have uh, the man on the mountain here with us. It will be a, a nice game to play. Both of us trying to to fit the moon and 
that we can see clearly now here in the shadow. Yeah, this is moving a lot. Is the moon. I want to try also the... Um, I forgot now when I reset the platform, I could try the, the plate solver. I forgot. I want to test that uh, new plate solver from Sharp Cap. I saw feedback uh, to to Robin and very good feedback. Yes, there was a glitch, but I think it's solved. Everybody's saying that it's much faster to finding the position of the telescope. Hello, Dio Crew. I'm using a 2x barrel. I was expecting this to stabilize a bit, the wind. I don't know if it was a, a, a wrong move to place the light shield tonight. Well. Chris Green is in the house. Welcome back. We are watching the Io moon transit over Jupiter. Right now it's already at the, the middle. You can see the shadow here. At the right we have Ganymede, the, the other moon. And also it's barely visible because it's not overexposed. Here we can do like this. The other two moons here. So one, two, three, and the, the other one is right between us and Jupiter. It looks like it's a bit better. Well, I think I will try another one. If we zoom out, look how sharp it is, zooming out Jupiter. Everything that we zoom out, it's much more... Well, I, meanwhile, I will see how, the, how the, um, the other one, the other capture... If it was good or not. So we have the first one, let me see. It's an interesting one. This is the first one with the moon here, without shadow without shadow yet. Let me see what happened with this one also, and let me see one with the shadow. Well it's the last one. The last one. We have the shadow here. A bit jerky, but let's see if Otto Stackert does anything with it. In a quick approach. Hold on. I'll show you. This is the last one. Place this. And analyze. Let me see what uh, the software gives to us. The quality of the frames. He's analyzing. It's working bad now, Sharp Cap, because of I have uh, uh, many things. Well, it's not very good. It's not very good. 
You see, the capture tonight it was not very good. This should be higher, this uh, green line. Anyway, I will use... Yeah, it's not very good. I'll stack as is. Twenty percent. See what happened. It stopped. It's slower. The sharp cap because I I'm stacking. I shouldn't do this stuff during the last stream, but just for the sake of. Okay, this is the picture right out of the gate from Auto Stacker without any processing. this I don't have m patience for many yeah, it can sharpen with regi stacks now Let's see what happens when I apply oof too much. We have to lower this. Oof. I don't really don't like this. Like this. Many people <laughs> post pictures like this, super over sharp. And I really don't like. I prefer to have less uh, sharpness, but have a decent natural image. I prefer like this, but this is also all a matter of personal preference. Nope. Personal preference. No, I need to zoom this. Mm. I can't get rid of the the aberrations of the RGB of the atmospheric dis dispersion I think I will lower this even more I really don't like to sharpen this too much it's not this one Oh, it's good. Do well.
Now let's try the one, the first one. It's an interesting one. It's rare. I don't know how auto stacker will manage. If I pass the the video from uh, through peep, it will help. Let's see the first one. The one with the, the moon here. See what Atta Sakart do to the moon. It's a bit better, but not much. Thank you, Chris Green, for gifting 10 Opsonian Power Memberships! Thank you! Thank you. Rebecca, Toon Lauri, Rosa Lacroix, Gideon, Starblocks, James Dogan, Franco Walker, Sam B, Speedy Mark, and Fred Franklin. You are now members of the Dobsonian Power channel. Make sure you go to the community tab on YouTube to access the previous live streams and content just for members. And if you are on Discord, which is free, you can connect your account, YouTube account to Discord and have some benefits there as well. Join us on Discord, it's free and you can keep in touch with the Dobsonian Power community. Members have benefits, I like to give back to members because you are the ones that are helping a lot. It's only 99 cents a month. The ones that received, please consider to keep the membership. It's only 99 cents a month. It's like buying me a coffee. Let me see how many members we are right now. I'll tell you. It's not a secret. It's not a secret to tell the members. Say it's good. Right now we are 168. 100 and 168. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Thank you, thank you so much. Now I don't remember if I stacked already. Well, stuck. Not very good capture. When we have good seeing, everything gets better. This will lift. This uh, green line, the average, it's the average, will be higher. And we will have more gray at the top. Uh, now, tonight, we have more at the bottom. Are the bad frames. Let's see... the picture from... Otto Stackert. Ah, he captured it. He could capture the, the moon, I think. Yeah, with the red spot, the red spot, and here the moon. Let's pass it to, through um, Registax. This one, I think it was better. It depends. That's why we should um, capture more than, than one video. I will capture one more. 
This one was wonderful because of the um, the red spot here, and another moon here, Ganymede, Ganymede here and here Hayo and near the the red spot. Uh, too much. I have this. Some people like, but I prefer to lower it. Too much. Okay. Okay. Now I like this one is better than the other one. You see, and it was the same night, same telescope, but it's better. The little moon and the other one here, and it's with a good balance with color. I think I will not touch the color. We can see the, the poles with those um, vortices. Vortices. Vortices, I think it's the name. RGB align. Blue to the left. And red to the right. It's the same. It's not... Um, we have the RGB. We can also try one thing that uh, Autostacker has. Uh, RGB alignment. Sometimes it works fine. Oh, he cropped the moon here. Then with Photoshop we can clear this, we can take this hot pixel, there's an hot pixel here. I think I, it will be the one that I... Because the moon here, it's very nice. I think I will not touch more in this picture. It's so natural. me save it see how fast i do the um, the processment of this of the planets even the planets yes look at the difference this one is the the one that i processed right now and this one well, this one is also good. It's not bad for the conditions. I uh, Auto Stacker placed these aberrations here. You crop it. The the edges. I saw some sometimes you you post the pictures and you forget this, but if you this we can do easily. It's just to crop these aberrations to have a nice presentation. The other one, it's much brighter. And we have here to crop also. Welcome, Peter K6502. To the Dobsonian Power Community. To the membership. Make sure that you go to the community tab on YouTube and you have access to anything that you need. Usually technical, more technical stuff like this. The planetary imaging, I did the full, a deep um, um, live stream with a deep uh, understanding and breaking down everything in a fast and simple way, but breaking down it more uh, instead of being here so fast. And things like that. Stuff that you might be interested in. I will leave the small moon here, the Ganymede, here, save as is, uh, it's beautiful, with a red spot here. Also, if you want to join us on Discord, if you want to join us on Discord, it's free and you can connect your YouTube account with Discord, it's a simple thing to do. And you will have some benefits, you will have a different 
color in your name it's the reddish tint that you see there from the members and uh, we are we are many there also and any doubt that you have not only me but also the community we help each other and it's been amazing i i really it was very nice to to spread to extend the, the um, community space there also because it allows us to keep together if we have any problem and share stuff interesting stuff then i can bring here if you share more stuff there i can bring here if i see and we remember look we have the transit who told me about the transit uh, samir it was samir don't don't forget you have the transit sometimes you say don't forget that comment now star guy said don't forget the the venus let me check that by the way venus venus shadow it it's a transit i think it's the moon will cover venus for a while let me see here venus moon news and this is in portuguese let's check here on space.com an amazing website also see the moon snuggle up to venus early on october 10. Uh, i knew i remember to that's why i i forgot that it's very early i can't i'm working at that time come on six o'clock uh, it's here it's between six and seven o'clock we have the chicken the um, singing and things like that it's not very good venus to me venus it's uh, at the evening afternoon when it's the eastern elongation it's my time when venus it's at easter and i can capture here we watch it venus this uh, this year the eastern elongation the arrangement between the moon and venus will disappear when the planet sinks below the horizon at around half past 8 GMT at the evening let's check the solarium we still have a, a chance here it will be on Leo constellation I think that uh, that will be early, but we'll see. So early. Yeah, it's in the morning. November 9. Mm. Yes, it has. Yes, it has. Bother Moon and Sky Glow filter very bright uh, Jupiter right now it's a good filter for it I don't, I don't know if it's the better one for planets but it's a good filter thank you star guy for your 
Super Shot. Super Shot. Thanks again for your. Hello. Thanks again for your support. Dub more Dub Sonian Power to the membership. Dub Sonian Power. Power. Let me see how, how many we are. Yeah, it will be funny to have a countdown, uh, like a, a counter. But I don't want to mess around with the stream stuff because 106. I don't know if it's uh, already. No, I think it's only tomorrow that it updates. We are 100. And 60. Eight. Dobson Sun Empower members. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Stay tuned this week. Stay tuned this week. Likely this week. This one or the next one. But I, hopefully it doesn't depend on me. Only. But uh, stay tuned, stay tuned. Members. I like to give back. Gratitude is one of my secrets <laughs> of happy life. Gratitude. Probably the but, but, but the biggest one, the powerful, the most powerful one that I use in my life. It's a great secret, great uh, trick that I use for boost for boosting my happiness and being well with myself and my, and life. Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. It's powerful. Super, super powerful. Super, 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 super. And people underestimate. Super powerful. Gratitude to life. Gratitude. If every night or day or both you go to sleep or, or wake up and feel the gratitude for life itself, or what you have, you will live much better. Usually we tend to, as humans, to complain and to go to through or towards the, the negativeness. Fight that. Gratitude. It's the, the key. I think I will record again because it should be stable now. For the ones that didn't uh, catch, didn't catch how I capture, I do a, I will, I will tell you, I do a very quick zoom out. This is the 294. Zoom out at the right. Row eight. It's already AV file. Select Roy. Click on select Roy. Move the square. Adjust the square. It's adjusted. Again, apply Roy. Start capture start bam go again to the roy click here on the gray and adjust the arrows and that's it three minutes three minutes the more you do this notice that it's the fifth time i think we do this tonight and it was the first time ever I used this Apply Roy stuff. Which is super fast and simple. And I'm I'm getting used to this, to this already. Experience. It's what you need. It's very interesting to listen and watch what I'm doing here. But it's like someone that uh, wants to learn how to draw. You can watch people and more people drawing 
you learn the techniques but you will only do a good draw when you apply and when you gain experience fail and fail and fail until you nailed it and this applies to everything in tonight in a planetary imaging but other nights to AA and to astrophotography and to visual and whatever noise is shaking a lot again that way you will release your brain to think in other stuff I'm not sure if it's better this one than the other ones. It's shaking a lot. I think the wind... 150 frames per second because I use this trick. The region of interest is much smaller and allow me to get a faster frame rate, which is good. Yeah. It's not better than the others we we need lucky doing capturing planets so that's why it's important to capture more than once and then you choose you have the footage and then you choose the raw footage yeah it's moving it's jerky Okay, three minutes stop and that's it we click here we have the file it's black and white because it's not debayered yeah it, it moved a lot this time and it's cloudy we have thin clouds it doesn't help now we go here to the right and again move the right to the top Yes, it is. The shadow is here. It's here. See? That black dot, it's the shadow of the moon. And the moon, it's right close to it, to the right. We can't see the, the moon because it, it blends with the, with the color of the planet. It's the same color. By the way, by the way. By the way, is this moon. Volcanic activity on this Jovian moon is so abundant, it resurfaces the face of Io with new deposits faster than comets and asteroids can pepper it with large craters incredible more than than asteroids and comets the volcanic activity with io in io it's huge and here we have nasa is amazing nasa is amazing look look see live it's showing the shadow not very accurate i think well it is because it's from another perspective i think here the shadow amazing huh? it's the orbit It's the orbit. Shadow lighting. Natural lighting. Fluid lighting. The shadow.
but here, here they say it's live, live. But uh, the shadow is stretching here. Do you notice? This is NASA. It's already stretching, but in in real time, we sh we are, we are sure we are in real time. Because I have the telescope pointing there. They say here it's live. And the size of this moon is about one quarter the diameter of Earth. Look. Interesting. Io's volca volcanoes are at times so powerful that they are seen with large telescopes on Earth. Loads of lava. It's slightly, slightly larger than our moon, Earth's moon. Well, we know something a bit more about this wonderful Galilean moon. Another picture they have here. Look, the moon and Jupiter. You see the color? It blends with a, with a planet in front of the planet. I love it, love it. <gasps> Where's Shop Cap? There we go. You see, there. Now, we are live. We are live. NASA was a bit way off. Look, the shadow is here. It's not yet at the uh, at the side. It's way off. Another live view. It's not stretched yet. Or maybe it is because it's zoomed on NASA. And we think it's round, but it's already stretching. I don't know. It uh, appeared already, Camus, the red spot. We captured it at the beginning of the stream. Look, the moon, the red spot here and the moon here. It was the beginning of the transit. Now it's already here, the moon and the red spot went rotated already. It was a good capture at the beginning. Look, the moon here. <laughs> Look. You see? Incredible. Dobsonian power. I love the Dobsonians. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Dobsonian power. power. And says David. And says David. Amalthea has just appeared just behind from behind Jupiter. Yeah, but I I think we can't. Let me see where it is. We can overexpose to see if we can capture it. Let me see. Stellarium. This is like playing a game. This is wonderful. This is wonderful. When the new generations, or most of the people of the new generations, realize how cool it is to do this, to point a telescope. Where is Amaltia? It's here. It's below Ganymede. Let's try. Don't forget the ones that uh, have Solarium. You likely will find the um, the red spot, the great red spot, not matching the reality. If it's that the case, and you didn't uh, watch the beginning of this live stream, rewind if you are watching the replay, because there I teach how to fix it with only two clicks very easy super easy let's see i'm althea althea Alth we do like this Sh she should be here 
that's overexposed to see. Oof, the wind. No, we can't. She should be here. We can't. No. Too small. Should be here or here. Too small. Look, we can't see anything. We can see the moons. One, two, three, four. We can see here something. Mm, looks like a star. No. Here at the top? No, no. Let me check Solaria again. Let me open. this a star it's a star yeah it looked like a star no we can't Amaltia it's right below come on No, we, we were watching. No, we can't. Mothia and Thebe. Ganymede has a magnitude of 4.4 and Amalthea has 13. But probably because of Jupiter brightness or something, we can't because it has only a magnitude of 14. 14. This uh, telescope has the power to, to capture 14 magnitude, but... The scope I'm using... This one... The King! The King. Sixteen inch or uh, eighteen inch arm, but... I don't know if with... Um, it's too bright. If we the Forex Barlow, no, but it's. I think it's because of Jupiter. Maybe in another position. No, we can't look. No. Shadow. Io shadow here. It's too small, yes, also. To 62 kilometers and Pluto. We can see Pluto and, and it's so far away. Pluto diameter. Pluto we watch every year. 2,300 kilometers. More than 2,000 kilometers. <laughs> it's significantly larger. Pluto. We can capture we capture Pluto a lot here in this channel. Twenty-four inches. No, we can't. We can't. What we can, we can. What we we can't, we we accept and that's it. We can see though the shadow, the moon, and the shadow of the moon. Actually. It was a beautiful capture, the first one, with the moon, with Ganymede at the right, and the moon right here, starting the transit. hi -o. Starting the transit. I have more records, let me check if we got... 
Ah, this one, it was, ah, this one was a mistake. Hold on. Let me delete it. This one was a mistake. We have this one. Here the shadow. And the last one was not very good. Moving a lot. We can see the shape deforming. It's, it's, it's not very good. The more we zoom, the, the harder it it, uh, it turns. Of course. Ciao Angela, grazie. You're welcome, David. I like to, to explore those those things. Every time we do that, we learn a bit. And we remember Amalthea. And other, other moons also. I wonder, now that you talked about Amalthea, I wonder... No, but I don't remember to watch it visually. Well, I don't know. Because visually, I can't remember. And I have to check. Because visually, we can see lots of moons. Yes, we see Amalthea. Visually. When I watch uh, Jupiter visually, I watch lots of moons. The thing is, as I'm doing visual and... Then I don't want to to pick the um, the smartphone to avoid hurting my my dark vision and for laziness basically. I don't check if the name of those moons. One of these nights I will do that. Actually, we don't need dark adaptation to Jupiter. Right now, with this brightness, we need the, the opposite. Light adaptation. If you do light adaptation before the opposite, we, you come from loads of light. To watch the moon, the full moon, for instance, when the moon is super bright, or Jupiter right now, you will watch better because your eyes are already adapted to the brightness. It will not hurt so much. If you do dark adaptation and then watch Jupiter, it will hurt the eyes. Some people don't know this and it's true. You test it. Thank you, thank you Angela. Grazie. Yeah, I think I will not record more than what I did already. Let me check the NASA... NASA real-time... The NASA live to see now the... Um, where was it? Here. Can I do this? Oh, there we go. Yeah, it has already with Jupiter without any shadow. This is off. This is uh, not accurate here on NASA. <laughs> Amazing. A guy with a telescope. A guy with a telescope. 
with more precision because we are watching live. Okay, guys, I think it's enough for tonight. We did a great, great show. I see Jupiter shaking a lot. It's the win. So... It was amazing. Remember, members, stay tuned for the next live stream. Very, very, very important for members. For some members. Better saying, you will understand why. And... Um, I'll see you likely on next weekend because the weather, it seems it will be fine. And thank you very much to all for being here. I will place the Dobsonian inside. It's cold outside. It's cold. Bye bye, guys. Thank you. See you.